Hello, hello, this is Lolly. Welcome back. Today I want to share with you, let's see if I can blow this up a little bit. I want to share with you this project, which is a tassel made of craft text. Now I have done a tutorial, which I will list down below, on how to make tassels out of paper. Uh, but obviously what happens with paper is they get worn and these end up breaking off and I've had that happen to mine. If I hang them on a journal, these break off. Well, so I got to thinking about that and I thought, oh, craft text because it's so sturdy and it won't tear. So I am showing you this and the color of this one is emerald. This is the May color of the month for uh, craft text ambassadors. So I'm going to show you how to make these and stay tuned. So the first thing that you need is your piece of craft text. Now I measured this so don't use the dimensions I gave you in the one for using cardstock because that would be completely wrong since this is so thick that when you roll up that length of craft text you end up with a really fat uh, really chunky uh, tassels. So this one is actually two and one eighth inches by five and one eighth. And then I want to measure here half an inch in. Now I just used a pencil to measure in on mine, but I want you to be able to see this. So I'm going to try and use a white marker here. And now you may have fringe scissors. I don't know if, if they will cut through craft text. I'm not sure. So I'm just using regular scissors and I just come in here and I trim up to that white line and stop. And so I am cutting in, that's about an eighth of an inch. And I'm not being particular and measuring it out. You can if you wish. And I'm just going to go all the way to the end by cutting in approximately one eighth inch. Now I don't really have to keep going at this point. So because what I want to do is just trim off about half an inch on the end here. So I don't really need that strip. I might do a little bit more. I might do this strip as well. I just need to cut off about half an inch on the end. That helps me to get, oops, that helps me to get this rolling there. Okay, so that's what we have now. Isn't that beautiful? What I'm going to do now is take my thumb and just kind of roll it along there. I'm pushing against my thumbnail here and it kind of helps it to curve. You see how it's getting it curved? You could also use a bone folder to do this probably. Okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, now this is very helpful to have a clothespin. You're also going to need a seed bead and whatever beads you want here and some trim there, some chain or ribbon would work. But we also need a head pin or an eye pin. Now an eye pin has what looks like an eyeball on the end of it and a head pin has either a flat or a bald surface on the end. So either one that you use, I want to put a bead on the end of that. And I like to add a little bit of permanent glue on the end here. This one is rather curved. I can't seem to get that one straightened out a little bit. I'm going to use super tight glue and just put a dot on the end here. Just a dot. And then down with one of those beads. And that is sitting down on that glue. I'm just gonna kinda push that down here and hold that down with my clothespin. I'm gonna set that up so that that doesn't, I'm gonna set it on something so it doesn't dry sticking to something. All right, the reason that I put that bead on there and I will show you now, is that this is going to be the center of our piece. And when we roll this up, if there's not a ball on the end here, it would be too easy to just pull this out of the material. And that was my concern when I first started watching tutorials for, um, for the paper tassels is that 
it looked like you could just pull it through. So first thing I want to do is get a little bit of the super tight right there on the very, very end. And I'm going to glue this in place with the bead hanging off the end to the left. I'm just going to give that a hold. You got to be careful not to glue your fingers to it. It's just like super glue. Hot glue, you know, many people will ask, well, will hot glue work? Well, no, because hot glue does not really stick to metal. Then the next part is to carefully start rolling this over onto the wire, making sure that, that bead is sticking out to the left. So I think what I'm going to do is hold that in place for a sec. Make sure that sticks. And then we need to roll this wire all the way through. And as we're rolling, we want to make sure, let's see if I can zoom in a little more. We want to make sure that we're watching the right side here and lining that up all evenly. And I also like to use a, like a coaster or something just to get this left side up off the project here. And you just roll it in tightly like that. And then once you've gotten that permanent glue in the beginning, you can use Fabri-Tac all along here to glue the rest of it in. One more bead of the super glue right here as I'm starting this, and then I will switch to the Fabri-Tac just so that we get this really tight. It helps to have fingernails. <laughs> Okay, now we can use Fabri-Tac. You like that? We made, Connie made that for me at uh, Creativation. <laughs> Just put a little bit of the Fabri-Tac there and roll it up and then as you need more, put more later. So as I'm rolling this tightly, I'm looking at the right hand side here. I don't want that sticking. And I can wipe it off of this easily. I'm looking at this right side to make sure I'm getting an even roll here because it's easy to get off track. And make sure you get a really solid line of Fabri-Tac in the end there that you get all the way across that edge. Okay, now I've got that, and what I want to do is take this, the round hole there and clip that right around there so it can dry, although I think I need to give it a little snug here. So you see how I've got that? I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And then start picking out what you want for your, for the large bead that goes right at the top here. I do have some green ones. Let's see if I see anything else that I like in here. I might switch to clear. Yeah, I like this. And so um, I will show you, I will also give you a link down below to my video that shows how I have these beads organized. Let's look and see what we have here. Oh, that's a nice big round one right there. I think I like that size. And then I can switch to a color after that. So another thing I like to do at this point is before I put this bead down, I also like to put a little super tight right around the top of the craft text before I add this. But let's go ahead and figure out what other beads I want to work with this. I have these, I think they're called rondelles where they're concave on both sides. Uh, and they, they butt up against um, round beads really well. I'm looking to see if I have a... This is a really pretty one right there. So that would go right up against her like that. That is lovely. Let's see if I could find a pink bead to go above that. Oh, these are too big. Those are too fat. Just afraid this might be too big. You know, you could run out of room on your, that is really big. I would run out of room on my little sticky finger. 
This is pretty. I've used that in my other one. I think I'll do that. So I think I have what I need. Alrighty, so what I want to do next is add a little bit of this glue in the bottom here just to secure that. And then we put the clear one on there. Okay, so the rondelle goes next. And then this. Am I going to have room? Barely. We're going to bend my wire to the right 90 degrees. I don't think I need to cut any of it off. I think it's going to be just fine. And using round nose pliers, I'm going to swing this around. Oops. Swing this around to the left. Like that. And give it a little pinch. Now all that's lacking is for us to put some trim right around the base here. So just go through your trims and see what you have that you like. Okay, so I have this, which I like a lot. This was a crochet trim and it was a little too thick for me. So I like that this is thinner. And I will attach that with Fabri-Tac. Now I would like something else to go around there. This one I just used glittered cardstock, but I want something else to go around here. So let me see what I have that really floats my boat on that. Now I found this, which is also glittered cardstock, and I do like, I wanted to try and switch it to closer to silver this time, although I have some gold accents there. I'm gonna cut a really thin strip by just laying a ruler across here and slicing it. And I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac again because I'm gluing it onto fabric. Alrighty, now what else to finish that off with? I need a jump ring. Okay. So I have a jump ring, and then I want to get um, another a charm to hang down. These are little metal tassels that I got from the jewelry section of the uh, craft store. There's a gold one there. I could use a tassel. I could use one of these charms that I made using a pen part, so I'll give you the link down below. But I also want um, a piece of chain. This is just old jewelry chain that I got from a thrift store. And if you have necklaces, you know, just, let's see, this is about an inch and three quarters. If you have necklaces, you can cut apart that, you know, old ones that you were going to get rid of. So all I need to do is use the pliers here and twist it open. I want to go, oops, I want to go into the loop here. into my chain there and then whatever else I want to add so again I could add this it would be a little lumpy I think I will add this and then twist that back and then on the end of that chain that old jewelry thing I'm just putting a garment pin in there and I have these pink ones I got from Amazon and I can let go of this and there it is we laid it out there I'll put the gold one and the silver one side by side and there they are and so how I use that was attached to a craft text bookmark and that will be my next video but in the meantime, I just wanted to show you how to make these. And again, you don't really have to have any charms hanging here. It's totally up to you. You don't have to have that this part is tall. You could shorten that as well. Uh, many possibilities. Just look and see what's in your stash and have fun with it.